I, I'm, I'm coming forward with this bill because I think that we need to modernize our electoral system. Uh, I do think that we have vo voter fraud in Minnesota, just like other states have voter fraud, and I want to try and do something to stop it. And uh, I think that if we uh, lend integrity to our voting system, we, in fact, will encourage our citizens to vote and to participate in the democratic process. And all three of those points are points that were uh, uh, determined and supported by the Crawford case. Senator Newman, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but at the last hearing I raised this issue of are we putting into our, into our state constitution um, um, technologies, for instance, or prescribing a particular um, way of showing identification that may be outdated in the future? What I'm trying to do is determine if the language in your amendment is too prescriptive so that you're tying the hands of future legislatures to say that you have to present a state-issued ID. Or could someone, as Senator Harrington can speak to this more eloquently than I can, being a, um, in law enforcement, but you know, uh, facial recognition software is becoming more um, widespread. Uh, there are school districts in the state of Minnesota that now use fingerprint technology to identify students so they don't have to carry IDs with them when they go through the lunch line. Um, I'm just really trying to get at whether this government issued proof of identity, if there's some flexibility there with that language, if that's what you're looking at, or if you firmly believe that people need to show an actual ID card with a photograph. I think you'd have to be living under a rock to think that the Minnesota people don't want voter ID. Um, it's probably the number one issue that has been asked of me to represent in my district. A recent Star Tribune poll polled it as 85%. 65% of Democrats even want it. And uh, a higher number of Republicans want it. Independents in high proportion want it. This has been on the news front for a long time. So if, if you're alluding to the idea that this is some fringe group that's somewhat nervous uh, in some inappropriate way in that they don't have a, a right to bring an idea before the legislature, I think you might be wrong. But, but quite honestly, um, there's, there's different civic organizations that are, that are following this legislation <coughs> on both sides of the issue. It's keen interest. We know that. Uh, the, just showing the people that are in the room today and at the last one shows a keen interest. And Minnesotans don't always agree. But to think that we're going to deny the representation of even one of our citizens from bringing an idea forward in the legislature, and it's even more impactful when, when it's been polled by a legitimate news entity that it has high popularity, uh, I guess I have to reaffirm. I, I just don't know where anybody's been if they haven't been following this issue. Senator Limmer, yes, we've seen this. We've seen some of those polls, but I've seen polls that once when, when educated, the public is not supportive of this. Once they have an education of what, what this means, they're not educated, they're, they're not in support of this. We've seen group after group of disenfranchised voters. I expect you've all heard from the students that I've heard from, from the senior citizens who are saying, wait a minute, this is not what we, what we expected. This is not what we thought. And I have no problem with constituents bringing issues forward. I just don't want to see it in the Constitution. We just do not need a constitutional amendment on this. Senator Newman has every right to bring a legislation forward, but that is what we're here for. We're here to do legislation, not constitutional amendments. So this is a very drastic measure for, a, for a, I do think it's, it's a few people that, want, that you know, want this to happen because when educated, most people do not feel that this is important.